Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining for this session today. Uh, the topic for today's webinar is the business value of asset management software. And uh, we'll also be taking a quick look at the asset management solution built by our partner, uh, Prosolic. A few quick pointers before we get started. All attendees will be on mute throughout the session. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop those questions in the questions tab, which you find in the left panel. Uh, we'll be taking up these questions uh, at the later stage in the session and uh, any questions that you have, we'll be picking it up then. Uh, post the session, we will be sending out uh, the recording of the session to all attendees. And during the session, we do have some surveys and polls that comes up on your screen. So please do participate in it. Uh, let me introduce our speakers for the day. Uh, we have with us today Anne Stam and Irvin Fenema, partners from Prosolic PV based in Netherlands, who are our Zoho Advanced partners and experts and creator. And I am Mira, and I'm very uh, happy to join them on this panel today. Uh, let's quickly go over the agenda for the session. We would start with a quick look at what asset management is, the types of asset management and asset lifecycle. Annie will then be focusing on what asset management software is, the need for an asset management software in businesses and organizations for scaling up. Uh, we'll also then have Irvin giving us a demo of asset management software built by built on Zoho Creator by Prosolic team. Uh, towards the end, uh, we'll also give you a brief overview of Prosolic and Zoho and the offerings from our end. Um, what is asset management and why is it important? So for any business, assets are the backbone and it helps drive the business effectively. The core of asset management is to drive more value from an asset in order to achieve organizational goals. So asset management is a systematic process of planning and controlling the acquisition, the operation, maintenance, and then renewal, and even the disposal of an organizational asset. So when properly deployed, Asset management can help stakeholders, decision makers, and employees predict and oversee the life cycle of an asset. What is um, asset life cycle? Asset life cycle consists of these stages that an organization's assets goes through, uh, right from its acquisition through maintenance and even through uh, the disposal. Effective and efficient utilization of these assets during the period is very important for maximum value creation for any organization. Uh, while the definition of asset management may differ from one organization to another, they can be broadly classified as uh, fixed asset management, digital IT and IT asset management, financial asset management, and enterprise asset management. Let's just have a quick look at each of them. Fixed asset management stands for the process of handling tangible items like machinery, building, and vehicles, which an organization might have. The IT and the digital asset management refers to the management of assets like software, hardware, or computer, and digital assets like presentations or photographs or any other documentations that an organization might have. Financial asset management refers to the process of managing procurement, developing an investment strategy, budget, cost control, and also handling of assets like cash, bonds, and stocks, which an organization might have. Enterprise asset management organizes, integrates, and optimizes any physical asset or infrastructure a company owns throughout its life cycle. This involves documentation, productivity, inventory records, and conditions of facilities. Uh, asset management is definitely not a new concept, but as the way the business uh, works is evolving, the asset management uh, also evolves. And for every organization, keeping up with the pace uh, becomes an important factor. With a solid process, organizations can improve productivity and efficiency of an asset, thus enhancing the return. A well-chosen asset management system creates a steady data stream through asset tracking in real time and encourages accountability and also keeps planning and maintenance on track. Now that we know what asset management and its types are, uh, we now have Anne who will discuss more on asset management software side of it. Uh, while Annie gets his screen. Good morning, everyone. I will tell you something about asset management software. Uh, asset management software is a dedicated application which is used to record and track an asset through its life cycle from uh, procurement to disposal. 
it provides an organization with information like where certain assets are located, who, who is using them, and how they are being utilized and details about the asset. Based on this software, you can standardize. Um, sorry, you can standardize this process and regi register all data of an asset, asset in a standardized process. Based on this, you can create dashboards and reporting. I will tell you something about the need of asset management software. Uh, when it comes to asset management, managers often deal with two main concerns. The first is what role does the asset management process play? Second, how can a company develop a good asset management plan? Every company needs to keep track of its assets. That way, its stakeholders will know which assets are available to be employed to provide optimal returns. Uh, if a business owner wants his asset management management plan to be precise, then he should calculate the entire life cycle cost of each asset. Many company owners make the mistake of calculating only the initial purchase cost. During the asset's life cycle, additional costs are likely to come up, such as maintenance, expense, condition, and performance modeling, as well as disposal costs. Related cost to an asset can also be used for budgeting asset costs in the future. Based on historical data, the budget can be specified with more accuracy. Digital archiving of documents related to the assets can also be really useful. All information related to the asset are centralized in one place, so you can easily find all documents related to these assets. For example, you can add a purchase invoice, manuals, maintenance invoices, contracts, etc. Most assets need maintenance in the future. For example, in the Netherlands, each vehicle is obligated to a periodic technical in inspection. Based on the license plate, we can automate the process of scheduling a date for this technical inspection. Uh, now my colleague Erwin will provide a demo for the solution we have built in Zoho Creator. If you, uh... A quick demonstration of uh, yeah, an application we've created uh, on the platform so a creator um, to registrate the assets and also the functionalities we've built in um, we've created a couple of cat categories for different type of objects so for example we have a vehicles we have tools and we have other objects um, and i will show you the vehicle module um, first, we start with a dashboard. Uh, the dashboard contains an overview of the maintenance which has to take place today, uh, next week, or this month. It also shows us how many uh, vehicle has uh, driven, uh, what the costs are for a vehicle, if there are known recalls, which are provided by an open data set, which I may already um, uh, told you about uh, within the Netherlands. Um, first, we start off uh, by adding a new vehicle to the data set. Um, based on the license plate, it fetches all kind of information known in this open data set. So, for example, it gives us the name of the, the, the brand name of the vehicle, what type of vehicle it is, the color, what the price was. Uh, the date of registration, if there are known recalls, um, some data about emission, um, the fuel type, uh, what is the, the weight of the vehicle, uh, and which is the next date of the mandatory inspection. Well, you can add some more information like when is the date of investment, um, how many months are we going to use this vehicle, and based on this information and the known investment uh, value, we can also calculate the depreciation of the vehicle. When adding a vehicle, it gets added in the vehicles list. And this shows you all the information available about the vehicle. You can also add an image or export this information and do some um, research. Um, we also calculate of, uh, generate a maintenance list. This shows us when maintenance has to take place um, and what type of maintenance. And this is automatically updated each night based on the 
mandatory inspection date known in the open data set within the Netherlands. When the maintenance has to take place, the uh, one responsible for this type of maintenance gets an email notification um, to mention when uh, the inspection has to take place and what kind of inspection has to take place. We can also generate an overview containing the, the, the kilometers dr driven by a vehicle. So, for example, this vehicle should be uh, of, should have driven 130, uh, 143,000 kilometers. It has driven uh, 29,000, so it's uh, within the range. Um, we can also register costs on vehicles, um, and we can add a budget on each vehicle. And each night, it updates the yeah, budget for till today. What are the re costs which are registered and what are the differences? So you can uh, see whether or not um, you're making too much costs on a vehicle. Um, we can also generate a replacement list based on the date of investment, the amount of, of how many months we're going to use this vehicle, and when it should be replaced. And we can also calculate the book value of the vehicle yeah, the depreciation actually. Um, it also generates a QR code for each vehicle. You can print this code and put it inside a vehicle and it shows us a summary of the vehicle for the, the people who are using this, uh, this vehicle. And we can also add some functions like um, um, uh, uh, register the current <coughs> stand of the vehicle or how to declare damage to the vehicle. And then it, get, it gets updated within the, uh, the application. We can also um, create notifications to suppliers. Uh, for example, when a maintenance has to take place, the supplier receives an email notification that a vehicle needs maintenance. They can give us a cost update uh, and then we can assign the um, maintenance to the supplier. Um, we can also add digital files, digital archiving. So, for example, uh, information about insurance, the investment invoice, etc. Um, yeah, that's that's a quick a glimp of um, of what we can do within OBS. For example, we have some municipalities within the Netherlands which are using this application. For example, it's called the Gemeente Maastricht. They use this application for their parking automates in uh, in the public, um, and then we can track whether or not a uh, parking automate is operational or not. We can also calculate what the uptime is of that um, of that parking automate so they can report it to uh, the one responsible for it. So that's a quick show of... Um, ...a free one-hour consultation session to answer any question that you have on asset management or uh, Zoho Creator in general. So please feel free to uh, make use of this, uh, this option. Now, moving forward to uh, a little bit of background about Prosolic and Zoho. Prosolic is our advanced partner based in the Netherlands with over 125 projects on Creator up their sleeve. Uh, they're a certified developer of Zoho Creator and has over five years of experience on the platform with happy customers across Netherlands and Europe. Their asset management solution, OBS, OBS, is currently used by 10 plus municipalities in Netherlands. Uh, coming to Zoho, Zoho is a software company that has been at the forefront of cloud software for more than a decade. From large corporations to single person companies, over 250,000 businesses and tens of millions of people around the world rely on Zoho to get work done. Our privacy first approach and long term thinking, deep engineering focus, and customer centric philosophy are just a few things that sets us apart. We are completely bootstrapped and profitable. 
those are privately held and publicly responsible company with over 25, 25 years of experience, 50 plus applications, presence in 190 plus countries with 70 million users. We are also a growing company with 10,000 employees across the globe uh, who are present in our different offices across the globe. We also have data centers that cover all the geographic regions. Here are a few key values. We are private and profitable. We value our long-term view over any short-term benefits or offers. We have been and will always be uncompromising on customer privacy. And finally, the result of a strong core value is incredible technologies at unbelievable prices. That brings us to an end of the session. Thank you all for joining us today.